About downtown Buffalo's only full service grocery store, Bray Miller Market. It opened in September 2021 after years of planning and after receiving $8.3 million in public assistance, including tax breaks, state grants, and tax free loans. It was part of a big project on the 200 block of Ellicott Street that turned a city owned parking lot into the grocery store and 201 affordable housing units in an apartment building next door at 201 Ellicott. That apartment building also received tens of millions of dollars in subsidies, including federal low income housing tax credits. But now the viability of the grocery store is being questioned by some city leaders as a $563,000 grant is on the line, a grant to help keep the store in business. Joining us live is Jay Dale Shoemaker from our nonprofit partner, Investigative Post. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. First, we're going to start off by talking more about the backstory about this project. I looked in our news archives this afternoon and I found stories that I did back in 2015 about downtown getting a grocery store after Mayor Byron Brown mentioned it in his state of the city address that year. That announcement was a big deal. Yeah, and you know, these are the types of projects, you know, when you hear city officials and experts, you know, talk about urban renewal, these types of projects are really what they hold up as the ideal. You take an old parking lot and you turn that old parking lot into affordable housing with a grocery store, you know, nearby, in this case, right next door. Um, and, you know, downtown, this is just right across the street from the library near public transit uh, and right down the street from Salem Field. So this is really what they, you know, hold up as, as the ideal. But it's important to note, as, as you did in the intro here, that this only came with really, really hefty subsidies from the federal government, from the state government, and from the county government, the uh, Industrial Development Agency. And the plans changed throughout the years. I remember seeing renderings that showed this like giant skyscraper. But now that we have the backstory, here's what's going on now. Eight years later, the Buffalo Common Council is deciding whether to give Bray Miller Market more funding in the form of a $563,000 grant. So here's what one common council member has to say about that. It is a store, but I don't know if it fits what many people need when you talk about a grocery store. And that was Buffalo Common Council President Darius Pridgen. So Dale, why does the grocery store say it needs this grant? And then based on the research from UB that you've seen about the need for grocery stores in other Buffalo neighborhoods, do the people you've talked with think this is the best use for that grant money? Yeah, so uh, Bray Miller Market says that it needs this money, you know, despite having all of that public subsidy, you know, to get the thing built in the first place. They say they need the money because they're suffering from pandemic induced losses. The store opened its doors in September 2021. Uh, they were not eligible for programs like PPP, uh, Paycheck Protection Program, which a lot which kept a lot of businesses afloat during the COVID-19 pandemic. And so they say their business uh, has taken a hit. Now, uh, what Darius Pridgen was just talking about there is the fact that Bray Miller Market is both a wholesaler for restaurants in addition to being a grocery store. So when he says, uh, you know, I'm not sure if this is the right use uh, for this grant, what he's referring to is that this is not just a grocery store. This is not, you know, subsidizing a Tops or, or even a Wegmans, for example. Uh, there's a whole other side uh, to the Bray Miller business. Um, and when I talk to some food experts, including at the University at Buffalo uh, and in some nonprofits here locally, what they said is that their research going back, you know, 15 years or more shows that on the east side, the need for grocery stores is far greater than it is downtown. Now, these folks said that, yes, downtown does in fact need a grocery store, but the need on the east side is greater, which I think we all became aware of last summer uh, after the Tops mass shooting. Uh, that was one of the, the big takeaways there is that there needs to be more food access on the east side. And we've heard from the politicians. What does the what does the owner of Bray Miller have to say about all of this? Well, you know, I've tried to ask him and he and he, uh, Stuart Green, the owner of Bray Miller Market, he has refused repeated interview requests. Uh, he did say, uh, send a statement saying that he appreciates, you know, the city being willing to consider his request. Uh, but again, he, I asked him multiple times and he refused to uh, speak with me. So we really don't know his full thoughts. All right, Dale Shoemaker with Investigative Post. Thank you for being on the town hall. You can check out more stories from Investigative Post right now at investigativepost.org.